You want to talk about a fabulous way to spend a day? Try three red carpets, three major premieres. Guys, we have got a very busy day, so I say we get this party started. Come on. Aye, 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 aye. So our first stop is the world premiere of Annie. How do you celebrate a Broadway classic being back on the big screen? How about with a little song and dance? Okay, an all-out party. Quivan Janae Wallace, Jamie Foxx, Cameron Diaz, Rose Byrne, and Bobby Cannavale round out this all-star cast. And with new spins and an updated storyline, it's a whole new Annie. You gotta tell my camera how you made extra money during filming. I earn extra money by people cursing, so everybody owes me a dollar for curse. And who gave you the most money? Jamie. You gotta clean this whole place up. Aren't they supposed to give notice? Aren't I supposed to be married to George Clooney? In three words, what is their Hannigan, the Miss Hannigan you play? She is fly. <laughs> she is sad. But she is, what's the word? She is capable of growing. How special was it for you to make a movie that your daughter could come to the set and hang fantastic. out? You know, it's great to have her on the set. Great to have them with me to be able to see a movie where the kids can go and enjoy it. Your character, Grace, she is not a secretary. She's not an assistant. You are the brains and the heart behind Mr. Stacks, who is played by Jamie Foxx. Yes. What did that mean for you as a woman? Yeah, yeah. We really wanted to make her a very, you know, like the hundreds of women around New York that you see every day who are running things. Annie hits theaters December 19th, but we are not done yet. We've still got to head to premiere number two for the biblical epic Exodus Gods and Kings. Christian Bale, Joel Egerton, and Aaron Paul bring their star power to Brooklyn to celebrate their latest film hitting theaters December 12th. The movie tells the tale of Old Testament icon Moses, the defiant leader who rises up against the Egyptian pharaoh. Yeah! Catch your breath yet? Because now it's back to Manhattan to Theater Row. All eyes are on Bradley Cooper, Patricia Clarkson, and Alessandro Nivola as the curtain officially rises on The Elephant Man. The lights of Broadway were shining extra bright thanks to the mega wattage of star power out to support this cast. And I wasn't the only one with a busy day. How are you holding up? So right now you're on Broadway. You had a movie premiere. I had, the, and I just did the show. And so, but I'm so excited. I got the director of, Scott Ellis directed this, who directed our play. So I'm so thrilled to be here. I remember my father taking me to go see this and I remember being really young and being like, wow, what a weird movie to go see at, age, at this age. Uh, but I remember uh, I was already obsessed with acting and I just thought it was like one of the most beautifully acted mm -hmm. films I'd seen. You never know who you're going to see on the red carpet and that goes for Miss Alyssa Milano too. I'm having a fangirl moment because Ann Winter is right over there. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Oh, do we say hi? I don't think so. What do we do? I don't think we don't do anything. We just try to look cool. <laughs> it's Anna Winter behind us right now. Just not as cool as her. This is such a powerful story, and it's actually the story that made Bradley Cooper want to become an actor. Do you remember that one thing that made you want to go into the business? Because you did go in at a young age. Um, I saw Annie on Broadway. I was just at Annie earlier. You were? Yeah, I saw Annie on Broadway, and I said, yeah, I can do that. And uh, like two years later, I was in the second national touring company. Perhaps the most proud audience member, Bradley's former dean, James Lipton. This Correct? was his master's degree thesis when I was his dean. Can you imagine what this means to me tonight? Ugh. Tell me. Everything. If you want to catch this all-star cast, you better get your tickets fast. The Elephant Man is a limited engagement running through February 15th. And Bradley's already getting great reviews in the papers today for yes. his performance. And Joelle said that that was one of the best shows she's seen all year. I don't know how she even made it to work today because she was she out was just bouncing around getting it done. That's our Joelle, oh my though. Goodness. But she did say that the Annie carpet was one of the most fun carpets. Because they had music and performances yeah. and everything. Yeah, yeah. it looked like so. they had a good time. Yeah, it looks good.